to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Jesse? Yes. Now I know it's under the dress. But what's under the weather? Uh, Are you sick? Oh, I think I'm getting sick. You got a little AIDS? Or I just went out in the cold. Yeah. Strange. We're in that type of season down here where it's it was 75 yesterday. Yeah. And then today it is 48. Two. Yeah. Well, 48. It's not two? Nope. Oh, okay, feels like two. No, definitely not two degrees. <laughs> okay, okay. So I don't think it ever gets huh. to two here, does it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We had snow here the first year. Remember? I know, but it that's like thirty degrees, maybe twenty something. Yeah, we you were pregnant, and I remember we lubed you up, and then we went down an embankment together. What? You were a sled. We used your your belly as a that- sled sentence was going huh we used use the sled put a little uh mm-hmm. sh- sh- little grease on the old uh stomache okay and then rode you down the sh- 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 you braided your hair and i got to use it as reins mm-hmm. you don't remember that and i was belly first you were drugged up um dangerous yeah irresponsible yeah. well sounds like I, I had a really good time I had a Merry Christmas. That might explain uh, <laughs> our kid. <laughs> he just runs right into walls, doesn't he? <clears throat> Which one? <laughs> the second one. Yeah. Yeah. He has no regard for the anything. least favorite. Do you know what I mean? Uh, of course. Yeah. And I'll remind at him of that. At this point. At this point. Yeah. And I'll remind him of that as he grows up. Yeah. 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 I tell him that. I whisper that into his ear every night mm-hmm. when I put him to bed. Yep. And then I'll tell, um, we'll tell our other Say child. Good night, number two. If he doesn't two. eat, it's mm-hmm. like, hey, the first one's he eats amazing. He'll eat anything off the floor, uh-huh. anywhere he goes. Sure. And I was like, "You're gonna, your brother's gonna be stronger than you, right?" And you're three years older. Yeah. And so I think we're fostering some like good psychological. I think you so. Know what I mean, I think so. Things. And I want to say that I'm proud of myself. You should be. <laughs> I never take the time. You know, I never take the time to say to what. Thank you, Ross. Oh. For being you. You know. I think with kids, sometimes we put too much emphasis on their growth mm-hmm. instead of our own personal growth. Oh, no. You take care of yourself. No, it's time to, it's time sure to take, take time out of, of my day today and say, thank you, Russ. <laughs> you SOB. God damn it, man. Right. You're really something special. And don't you ever forget it, bucko. Mm-hmm. You know? We don't do that show, like every show? No. It um, feels like we do. <laughs> and I call myself bucko a lot in the mirror. Bucko? Bucko. <laughs> you take care, Bucko. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Put on a hat out there today, Bucko. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a good day today, I think. You don't want your outer skin freezing. That's what I call my ears, my outer skin. Mm-hmm. My ears and my penis. Your ears? And my penis, my outer skin. You know, that's pretty much it. It's, it's uh, hanging off the side of my body. Mm. You ever think about Van Gogh? What he did with earmuffs? Do you think he just ditched one, or so <laughs> he got a he got a deal for sure? I think he got half, half off. Half off, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I only need one earmuff. Just, I just need one earmuff. Do you have? Can you point me to the section where there's just one earmuff? Because that's what I need. Why? Ah, cut the other one off. You get it, right? You still need to cover it up. There's a hole. Uh, is there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Put a bandaid over that. Save yourself some cash. Yeah. Get one ear muff, you know, one muff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you muffed up, dude? Yeah, yeah, I got that one muff. That one ear muff, that singular ear muff. You've seen the ones for dicks, right? The what? Uh, for penises. But in what? The, in the, the cold weather. The ear muff? Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, no. It's like a dick muff. Oh, okay. But it's, uh, like you can get them in all shapes and sizes, obviously, but it's, it's, it's Santa Claus. And then there's, you get uh, two jingle jingle bells underneath it. Oh, okay. So it's your penis is Santa, and then there's jingle bells underneath it, which is nice. Cool. Uh, it's knitted. Mm-hmm. 
and that's uh, that's a nice feature. A wool. Not sure if it's a wool. What's that in between pattern? Huh? Wool is the material. What do you mean? Is it? Mm-hmm. What do they crochet with? That's not wool, right? Yarn. Yarn. Yeah, it's a nice yarn. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what they do it with. Uh, there's a drinking bro that his mom is making baby Yodas out of this uh, crochet, selling the fuck out of those things. Oh, Everyone's into baby Yoda right now. I know, and they're not selling it. Oh, they're not? Why not? No. So there was a big thing with that. Uh, John Favreau, the director. Um, he directed that them, shit? Yeah. Uh, for Mandalorian. Yeah. He directed it? Yeah, yeah. And so. God, he's everywhere, man. I know. And he's like. I love him. Not a lot of fanfare with it, right? Because remember... He's invisible. He's now just a director. So before it'd be like, oh, the actor, John Favreau, yeah. is directing, right? Now yeah. it's just like, oh, who directed that? The director, John Favreau. It's like not a big deal anymore. Yeah, it's strange. And he directs everything. It's like Iron Man, Marvel. He's great in Chef. I really like that movie. He, Yeah. And he has a show now mm. on Netflix called The Chef Show because mm. he got super into cooking. Yeah. When he was making that movie and wanted it to be super authentic. So he's working with like Roy Choi, I think. And uh, he was, Roy was the um, consulting chef on that show. On the movie. And so now the two of them go around to like other people and cook and go into their kitchens. And I, I he's living out his dream the way that I would, right? I, I will say this. He, he's always been like that kind of before yeah. it was big. Do you remember Dinner for Five? On uh, IFC. Yes, but was that about the Channel? food? Not yes. really. Well, oh. so here's the thing. He would invite his favorite actors over. Right. Um, and then have dinner and a full meal, conversation, mm-hmm. everything, and then smoke cigars. Like, he went through the entire process of it. Of, and, like, eating. Yeah, he's a definitely, But a like, nice meal, a nice thing yes. and at, a, at a restaurant and the, and the whole shit, so. And he's at a point now where he's, like, this <clears throat> same weight, right? Uh-huh. He's not like trying to be skinny. He's not super fat. He just eats all the time. So it's amazing. But what was the point of that? Anyways, the baby Yodas. So he asked Disney, I think, Uh whoever was in charge of the merchandise, right? Can you please not sell these Yodas? Because I I want the reveal of baby Yoda to be a complete surprise. Although to have the the amount of money that they could have made... And right to have before them Christmas? Be, yeah, and Oof. to have them be like, okay, John Favreau, we won't do this. Um, and it did, it, it did pay off, and I think now they're, it's like waiting list type situation. So people mm. are like, how are they not for sale? And that's why. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, yeah. It's cute, but it's also like really creepy, and I don't know. I'm into cute and creepy like that little. Clearly. Gremlins was a big thing in my house. Uh, I love Gremlins. So do I. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't remade that shit yet. Well, yeah, true. It's on the horizon. Yeah. I will say that. I'm sure it is. A lot of people are asking for you to have a cooking show, Jabes. Mm. <clears throat> your, uh, that would be my dream. I'd be living out my dreams. Your video that, uh, that Alec did, uh, one of the our producers cook-off. blew up, man. Uh, it, everybody was just like, Jesus Christ, I want more of these. Yeah, premium content. And that people was, that was last it. minute. Um, we kind of did it on the fly. I know you guys had talked about it offline and since Eric Tanzi was here and I didn't we didn't know he was going to bring a cauldron and all that stuff if you haven't seen the video go to Ross Patterson Revolution on Facebook or or Instagram and it's up it's really funny you guys were really funny together but uh, all the comments were like do more of these Dude, uh, I and mean, I think if we're able to set it up properly next time that could be a thing I mean my dad might finally be proud of me do you maybe. know what I mean Eh, I wouldn't hold your breath, but yeah. Probably not. He'd still be like, how do I watch it? You know what I mean? Like yeah. 20 episodes in. I'd be like, dad, I'm doing a cooking show. Like, are you, is mommy, is baby pretty now? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, But that would be my dream, right? I have a podcast and a cooking show. I'm done. You're done with life. Done with life. You can't dream any higher. Can't dream any higher. No. I mean, again, it, it would, it's. It's a different format. Guy Fieri makes it look so easy. <laughs> um, you know, to make it interesting while somebody's cooking, right? Because there's two, there's different ways of doing it. There's like you can have a cooking show and you're cooking, so you have stuff to do. I don't think that's interesting. You, yeah, I mean, 
I do, but. so here and here's why. <clears throat> I don't like I like you watch that shit all the time, mm-hmm. so therefore I watch that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind it. Out of all the things you watch, I don't mind the cooking shows and the competitions and all that stuff. The only thing I really hate is the Real Housewives bullshit, but um the rest of it, cooking wise, like I get into. Yeah. The one that I have a hard time with is uh Flay. Still Flay Day. Ah. Why? AK. Ah. Why? Challenge He's Bobby like... Flay and go against him. I'll never know who's really tasted better. And you kind of, it kind of feels like they're rooting for the contestants now. Where the first couple of seasons it didn't. Now it's like the contestants win every time. And it's like. No, he wins every time. Uh, he wins every time. The and last I go, four that I've seen. Are you seen, serious? The last four that I've seen, he's lost. And I looked at you and I was like, Jesus, man, does he win? Really? Uh, yeah, on yeah. the beat, maybe beat Bobby Bobby Flay. Beat Bobby Flay, yeah. So, but he had another, he likes to uh, compete. He's like me. Where he'll go to a town and just be like, who wants Who wants to fight? Yeah, that's sweet. I'll I, make your, let's do a wing off. I know. Like, that's what I love doing too. And, and I enjoy it. But I, I think watching cooking, and they try to sex it up with lights and fog yeah, machines I mean, and the way they've got the fans lined up like above them like they're in a thunderdome type sitch you know oh, what i'm talking oh, about for right? beat bobby flay sorry yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're you're you're like yeah people are they've got some crowd effects yeah. and all that stuff you're like yeah and it's like man they're just cooking stir fry right now like i don't exactly. give a shit now what i like or when they like j- <laughs> they put in a little bit of sauce and people are like <gasps> yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Like, cal- like, calm down yeah <laughs> like, calm down Somebody, you know, gives birth upstairs. Oh, yeah. I'm crowning. You just put in, you know, turmeric. And you're like, dude, right. you're not, you're not going to have a baby right nope. now. Yeah. We're not really. That, but that, they have that to. turmeric's not going to make you have they a have baby. To. You know? Yeah. Oh, you can see the scalp. He's got it. Oh, he's breached. He's breached. Like unchopped. And they're like, they've got to get it on the plate. Yeah. They, yeah. They've got to. And like the way that they filmed it, they fully had it on the plate in time. Of course. But they have to be like, oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> but by the way, I love it. Like I of, love of the dramatics yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah, you're you're into it's it. So Me stupid. not so much. Yeah, I just want to yeah. get to the bullshit of like, all right. What is the bullshit that you want to get to? Like just for my own the eating research. and the tasting just and the and, and the thing and then the feedback of it, right? Because I think, and we discussed this when we were doing this video. You show the ingredients going in, then you get out of there, <laughs> then come back when it's made. I don't need to see you fucking physically cook that shit. Oh. No, 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 you don't like, and that's what they do on the cookie shows, right? And then it's like it's already finished in the oven, right? Like we don't need to see. You. Well, and those competition shows, right? It's down the last second, oh, like you yeah, were saying, yeah. and it's like, and then it's it's a pinch of chives or something where they're like, oh, I didn't think I could get the chives on there, and yeah. I did. Oh God, I the almost forgot the chives. That freaks me out about that shit. Is I don't want to eat a meal that somebody's been racing and sweating all over. I always think that. I don't want to fucking I eat that shit. I always think about that. Take your time, bro. With their hands yes. and their sweat. Take your time. Oof. But you know, listen. So I, with well, well, here's the thing. With you, in that format, I right. really like it because my favorite is Guy Fieri, Diner uh, Fieri. Sorry about that. I had to correct myself. Yeah, Fieri. Exactly. Triple D. I don't want him to listen and be like, you motherfucker. It's not a hard R, dude. It's a soft R. Fieri. Fieri. Um, it's a rolling R, but yeah. No. Fieri. Uh, a rolling R is like, um, perro. Uh, that's Spanish for dog. Again, not here to teach you a different language today, but you're welcome. Um, toco la guitarra. Wanna, yeah. You can, toco, brother. <laughs> Play. Um, <laughs> toco, but yeah. <laughs> Play. Toco is I am playing, bro. Yeah. Toco la guitarra. Don't even test my espanol, hombre. Okay, champagne. Yeah. With with Fieri, though, he gets he cuts to the bullshit. Like, he's pushing them along. Yeah, because uh, he yeah, wants yeah. to get uh, to the eating. Uh, well, 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 chicken, great. Uh, yeah, what, what is that? You're probably putting paprika in there. You can almost hear he's he's a second away each time from saying, uh, 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 how about you speed this up so we can get yeah, to the end yeah, when I'm yeah. stuffing this in my fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah. But I like your interaction with the people, mm-hmm. with the like with Tansy. Like, that's what I would like to see more of, of like, oh. Oh, you're going to slide that in there, huh? Well, <laughs> good luck, clam boy. Like, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have to have someone like And there's like no female Tansy out there too, yeah. that I've seen that's doing that. And that's sort of my idea with it, too, is because 
we grew up everyone that has a either traveling cooking show or a cooking show is very proper very boring yeah. uh, sorry uh. there is nothing more boring than pioneer woman my god and she is a millionaire billionaire right? oh really i don't know her whole sitch what's Ugh. her what's her deal what's pioneer woman so pioneer woman she has a whole line of everything right at walmart mm. so she's got her own products which is the answer right that's where you've made it um but she's kind of like this accidental lit you know she was a city girl i guess in new york maybe mm-hmm. whatever met this cowboy in a bar and now she lives in a on oh, a, she's eating rabbit dicks on a ranch yeah and trying to make her life interesting when she's crying inside probably because uh, she's alone in this house in the middle of nowhere while the guys are out on the ranch or whatever ranching ranching yeah doing their ranch stuff yeah, rancheroing oh i get it i've seen brokeback mountain so yeah exactly I know so what those fishing trips are like I think she has three kids. Maybe. Anyway, so she just, all she does is, it appears, she clearly isn't, this isn't all she does, but she sits home and makes them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so you like, so that's her job. She's a woman though, right? Sure. Yeah. No, but listen, my God, nothing more boring. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. And the old uh, Huevo Ranchero. Oof. And then like Giada is just a little bitch, boring bitch, Italian you know, mozzarella, that yeah. kind of thing. Like out of nowhere, we'll just like say something very Italian. Yeah, and you're like, like just so you know, I am actually Italian, kind of thing. Yeah, like I say mozzarella and fucking hate that. And Parmigiano shit. Reggiano. It's like when politicians speak Spanish. Yeah, exactly. San like, Diego. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bro, like, bro, it's San Diego. But anyway, I get it. So there's they're bo- boring, kind of. There's nobody that yeah. is kind of a weirdo or. <laughs> Is like Guy Fieri or or anything. So I've always wanted to do that because there still isn't someone in the space that's. Now that I've seen it, I think you'd kill it. Thanks, I'd yeah. love to. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, if this out. guest comes through in Austin, I like to get that barbecue joint in now. Have you do that? That'd be amazing. I saw your girl speaking of the the, the food channel, uh, Padma. Okay, Lakshmi. Yeah, is that, I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I wasn't even attempt it. Sure. Um, she was wearing something revealing. Uh-huh. On this this uh, thing for some photo shoot for some, she's kind of an undercover smoke show. And I was just like, not undercover, widely known. Did not know that. Oh yes, did not know that. They I've never always seen her talk without about like it on Top Chef. That's always just like, oh Padma, like I've never seen her gorgeous. without her shit on. You know. Okay. Usually it's you know she's buttoned up. Yeah. Kind of Fox Newsy, mm-hmm. you know. Not real sexy, but kind of like, oh, you're cute. Uh, saw her. There, were, there was some like photo shoot with her, and I was just like, oh, I get it. Because you were the one who told me that like, 80 people have cheated on their wives with her or something like that, or something crazy happened. Uh, no, she has. she's just a little bit of a poon hound, and she has a kid with with someone that was married or whatever, and then she just has like a weird little love triangle, and she's a... Uh, I got it unapologetic about just being like yeah i can <laughs> have sex with a lot of people and now i have a kid with one of them and i'm not with them and whatever good for her yeah huh yeah. You, don't, you don't see that every day either do you no you don't shit and then she either got fired or she quit i'm not sure but it was like a big thing is she not there anymore no oh really Mm-mm. no more padma on I top wonder. chef it's very weird but uh something happened she's she's one of those people though who could just move on and just kind of start Wherever she wants, kind of like a Tyra Banks, where she's just kind of a bitch. Was she is kind of racist. I forget. Really? Something. Isn't she brown? She's Indian, right? Yeah. So being racist is just like race, just against whatever. It can be but against, against white, white people. It, That's I what mean, I'm saying. It can be against anyone, but yeah. Well, no. I, in this case, it would have to be against white people, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, she's Indian, but yeah. Wow. She fucking hates white people. I don't know, buddy. I'm asking. (laughs) You know? Hey. She's racist. Wait a minute. She's brown. How can she be racist? Yeah. Hey. Wake up, bro. It's rare, man. Wake up. It's 2019. Well, it's 2019. It's rare that someone gets brown for being racist. Someone who's brown gets fired for being racist. I know. Calm down. You, you cannot. Know you cannot believe it. I, I can't. You're like you're all a, you're all a bumble. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to, <laughs> to say. I'm tripping over my my words here. 
So what are you looking up at what what I was she got sorry fired for? I was yeah I was just looking up You her do that I'll do rumors, sponsors real quick. Please yeah. do. Cuz I want to know if she hates white people. It's outer. I'm kidding. I don't really give a shit if she hates white people. Sometimes I, I do, do too, man. I do most of the time yeah. to be honest. We're fucking ruiners. I know. Aren't we? Everything we touch just turns to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? And everyone else is just fucking doing awesome shit. Yeah, you know we're who just it, stealing it and make it making it dumb. Not true. Not true. Very true. I'm doing awesome shit. Um, I'm buying ghost beds. Like a white man. I'm kidding. Like a white man. Could you imagine? Uh, ghost beds only for white men. That would be the worst ad read of all time. They would call, "Hey, bro, you should definitely not say that. Don't ever say that." No, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is the mattress for everyone. They're the people's mattress. They're for all races. I uh, love the ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Best in the biz. Nass. Their holiday deal is going on right now. Jump on that shit. Half off the adjustable bases. Like, that's a crazy, that is like $900 off. Uh, get it now, man, while you can. Those adjustable bases got USB ports, flashlights, uh, you name it, man. And it's an easy, easy setup. It's like eight minutes or some shit. Uh, go there to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get the holiday sale. If you're military or first responder in this world, you get 15% off forever. And that's just rad. That's just fucking amazing, dude. Of all their products, beds, bases, pillows, all of it. Um, this this holiday deal, deal? Yeah. is a banger. And look, man, it, their 36-month pay-as-you-go program is the best in the biz as well. Knocks that shit down to like 38 bucks a month. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we've got strikeforceenergy.com. Jabes. Boom, boom, boom. Shabloinker. People can't get through their fucking day without hearing that. So that sound effect either needs to stay or I need to record it and push a button on the desk. It'll stay. What? Just a little Jabe's head. Or just a little, like, a, like just a little sex robot head of you, you know? And then I can press it and you can say that. Shabloinkers. So you're going to replace me? Well, no, just for that, maybe. You know, just put a little head next to you, a little rubber head, a little sex doll head of you, saying that. Uh, Strike Force Energy is the best in the biz. As far as energy drinks go, um, you'll be on it, I've been on it, I've been on it, I've been on it, yeah. I just ruined the Chance the Rapper song. That's another case of... Yeah, that's another case of white people ruining everything. Exactly. Sorry, Chance. Or Chance, if he's if he's French, uh, Strike Force Energy. has got four amazing flavors: grape, orange, ridge, lemon. Ten pack, forty pack, seven fifty milliliter bottle. No carbs, no sugars. Subscription of the month program. Great stocking stuffer. Get them, get them. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, if you don't want to stuff it in their stocking, you want them to be real surprised. Wait till they're, they're they're asleep with socks on, and then just stuff them in there on Christmas Eve, you know. And then they wake up, and it's like, oh fuck! And then I get a ten pack just jammed into the back of their calf, and it's like, Merry Christmas! That's a real stocking stuffer, you know. No, okay, new tradition for the family. Oh my gosh, what's the date? Today is December eleventh. Okay. We are five Ooh. five days away from Pineco Day. Shit, will I be out of town is the question, and I don't know that answer. No, we're going to we're gonna do, we'll have it up and running. Up and running. <laughs> up and running. I should running. maybe do a show by myself. Um, we will have to have do been Pine so Cone Day do tomorrow then. Okay. Um, because uh, I, I, look, we, we had some big guests booked uh, from New York, so, man, or Philadelphia and New York, I should say, possibly Austin. So we're trying to round out the year in style. If those happen, I will not be here on the actual Pinecone Day itself. But I don't think people need you. I don't think the people need you to be here. They absolutely do. So uh, we were doing that Pinecone Day show. Might have to do it a little in advance. Scare the children in advance with Jimmy Tree Legs. 
Uh, Strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Put one a box in, in your lover's sock when they're sleeping. Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Oh, you're right, kids. Yeah. I was just thinking about yesterday when I said you like it. Yeah, you fucked up. Like, what does that even mean? Is that a real word? You fucked up. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. What? Yeah, James. I remember that. People won't even know what I'm what I'm talking about. You fucked up. Sure. <laughs> Gosh, thank you. Yeah. Straightrazors.com is, uh, well, it's the razor of the future and the past. You know, I always think of my forefathers who often shaved with straight razors. They passed it down from hand to hand, and, uh, well, they forgot about mine. So I had to go to straightrazors.com and buy my own straight razor and shave exactly like my great, 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 great grandparents, uh, who did not own slaves, by the way. They were from Pennsylvania, so they didn't do that. Just want to make that clear for the audience. Um, we were a slave free family. Uh, the Pattersons out of Pennsylvania, so, and the Rosses. Mm. Betsy Ross sold the flag, so no big seventh grade aunt. Uh, I you can say? be a hero, baby. Again, seventh grade aunt. Yep, is uh, Betsy Ross. Don't want to pat myself on the back too much uh, today, but you need to. You need to. Um, that story has been in my family forever, Jabes. I know I've talked about it before. She sold the flag, mm-hmm. Betsy Ross. Mm-hmm. Last year, man, I'm going back there this weekend. Last year, I went to her house where it was sewn and uh, shivers. Oh, sounds so boring. Chicken skin down my uh, my whole body. <laughs> so boring. No. I can't. The house is smaller than you the... think. Cool. You think for a flag of that size, it perhaps would have been a bigger house that she would have sat down and sewed that on. Mm. Smaller house. Yeah. Um, when I go, I'll get a picture of it and then probably take a, some little tour for you. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Nah, I'll get some video for you. Send that back. Yeah. I don't um, really need to know where like anything came from or any backstory on anything. 16 different clips. I'll send back to you of me at the B Ross house. Um, but in the meantime, know this. All of our ancestors use straight razors, and you should too. Mm. But don't worry if you're a pussy out there who's you know afraid of a straight razor. They have safety razors that are the same as your regular ones, except the blade is sharper, and it makes your fucking shaving last a little longer. But be careful. Down no, it. you don't have to be careful. Okay. Good to go with those. Uh, their aftershave is the best in the biz, Smolder. Um, you can get those straight razors engraved, by the way. So get, get, get a fucking kit for Christmas for your loved ones. Don't be a dickhead. Quit being a little dickhead. Put you Riken on there. I mean, come on. Yeah. Put what are Ukrainian you doing? dwarf bush shaver. Do it. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Big, big savings there for a Merry Crema. Merry Crema. Uh, um, nothing happened. She she was uh, suffering from imposter syndrome. The fuck is that? I think I suffer from it sometimes. What is it? Well, when you get any kind it's a of Padma, mm-hmm. okay, what happened? When imposter syndrome, yeah, what I don't is know it? what that is. Um, if you get, and you would never know <laughs> what this is, by the way. Great. Um, it would just never affect you. So you bet. S- <laughs> sometimes people like get a certain amount of fame and aren't really ready for it. Um, oh yeah, losers. Theo, yeah, Theo Vaughn uh, talks about this sometimes. But anyway, you just kind of feel. You'll go out like to meet and greets or when you like meet people or whatever, you feel like you're uh, an imposter. You feel like there's mm. no way that I'm actually <clears throat> doing like I'm as good as these people are saying that I am. I feel like I'm faking it. Yeah, I'll never have that problem. Absolutely. So never I had mean, that problem so my stupid. entire life. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know. Uh, That's what I first said. Yeah. Like you would never. No. No. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. You'd be oh. surprised. You're surprised when more people don't. I'm pissed off. Mm-hmm. Like when I go out and people aren't like, there's there's Ross Patterson. Jesus Christ, you're brilliant. I'm like, right. hey man, you want to you give me the praise I deserve or what are we, what are we doing here? Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm right in front of you. This, this isn't going to happen very often. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Fucking shake a hand, take a pic while you can. 
Because I'll be gone, brother. Yeah. I'll be Swayze and Ghost. <sighs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll never understand that. Because why do it? That's the God's honest truth. If right. you want to be unknown and... Uh, it's very easy to do so. You just yep. do that. Disappear. <laughs> no, you just live like a normal life somewhere. That's like. <laughs> Never get into the industry. That's never trying to with, do anything uh, in with, front with of crowds Theo or Theo uh, or Padma or, or yeah. anybody else like that. It is very easy for you to go cook. Is she a chef? Uh, no, she's more like me. She's an eater, like me. <sighs> Fucking w- the worst, an eater. You know? Well, I don't. I mean, I, I. No, I know, but like she has a she has a cookbook. I guess she does, but she doesn't call herself a chef, right? So great. Then go eat in your hometown, wherever that is. Sure, India. No. Is it New Delhi? I don't know. But then she also was with Sal- Salman Rushdie for a long time. Yeah. Wrote a book about his insatiable sexual appetite. She did. She wrote about it in her book. So he needed a lot of food, a lot of attention, and a lot of sex all the time. And I go, oh. Yeah. Who? He's different? How? <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, of course. But I guess he was very aggressive about it or something anyway. Well, look, to be brilliant, you know, you need what you need when you need it. So mm-hmm. uh, that's another thing. <laughs> I with love Padma. that you're just like right on his side. Whatever. <laughs> Padma, you know what you signed up for with that one. Yeah, she's a little bit of Fucking a... Fucking idiot. She's a little bit drama. It's like whenever I hear somebody cry about Charlie Sheen. Oh, my God, I was surprised. He was getting prostitutes and doing coke all the time. Why? It's Charlie Sheen. It's Charlie Sheen. The fuck do you think he was going to do? Yeah, you're you're with Brett Michaels. He was on Rock of Love. What do you what do you think? Yeah, he's gonna have fucking people doing cocaine off his nutsack. He's always been at, rich. Dre is in Vegas at five a.m. He's always been in Hollywood. He's always been rich. Yeah, dude. Since the day he was born, his family has rules. always been. Same it. with the yeah. Timberlake thing, man. He's a yeah. fucking worldwide pop star. He's been famous for fifteen years globally, uh-huh. not just in somebody's backyard. Every woman around the world, little girl, little girls who are now grown up, right? Mm-hmm. Timberlake's probably what, 32, 33? Ish. I don't, I think. Either way, right? More than that. Really? Yeah. 35? Yeah. Fine. Let's, let's put it at 35. Alec, do you know how old Justin Timberlake is? To... Justin Timberlake age. I'm going to say closer to 40. 38. No shit. He looks great. Um, he's older than me. That's surprising. Uh, either what way, with, with Timberlake, um, so you look at 38, right? He's been famous since he was 14 on the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. He's 24. Here's what you get. You really got to factor in with some, sit, some shit like this. Some of the girls that were watching him grow up that were in love with him were eight, mm-hmm. seven, eight years old. Mm-hmm. Tack on 20 years to them. They're 26, 27. He's still rolling out all over the world. And it's just like, right. yo, man, he, he's just dripping and trim. So why be married with kids though if if you if you want to do that yeah no shame in either one but no. just don't it's it's a padma sitch dude you know where it's just like dude why if you were salmon rushdie you know what you're fucking getting into mm-hmm. so don't write a, a book about it and be shocked mm-hmm. same with with bealster dude she got what cheated on like 80 times there was photos of him coming out of a Hotel with like three different girls oh, in yes. New York at like it's four a.m. Part of their relationship at this point. Yes, you know you're getting into, so don't mm-hmm. bitch about it. I haven't heard Bealster bitch about it, but like homegirl writing a book, Padma. Come on, man. Uh, and if you again, if you feel you're in imposter syndrome or have whatever that is, don't marry somebody famous. What do you or think that's gonna do? Shit in the limelight. Don't, don't do anything, do man. With a crowd or on TV or go with date an audience. Dave down the street who lost his job at Circuit City when that closed. Mm-hmm. And he moved on to f- to fucking Office Depot. Mm-hmm. Do that. Mm-hmm. Live that life, Padma. Yeah. Tell me how that is. Go get drive through hibachi like the rest of us. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Don't demand a, a Michelin restaurant for breakfast. That's not a fucking thing. Yes, right. they'll open up for you, and the chef will pretend like he's amped about it. He's not amped. Mm-mm. And for goddamn sure, that place isn't equipped to to cook a breakfast for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, dude. Roll on over to Applebee's. Order the sizzling fajitas. When you hear them coming to the restaurant, everyone will stare at those. That'll take the focus off you. And by the time they hit your fucking table, you can cup your hand around your ear. And it's almost as if your fajitas are talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't give me that bullshit imposter syndrome. 
What do you do for that? What's the cure for imposter syndrome? I mean, she left the show. But is she gone from life now? Uh, well, she was talking about having imposter syndrome on Andy Cohen's show. <laughs> so, look. Are you serious? Yeah, you're not. I guess she had it, right? She got over it <laughs> once nobody was paying attention to her. I'm sure she's like, hey, I don't think I have imposter syndrome anymore. <laughs> She came out with it on TV. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Fucking Padma. Just be hot and fucking eat three bites of shit and then go throw it up somewhere. What a great job. Like, why would you ever? I don't get it. Such an amazing job. I don't get it. You have the best life ever. And judging, too. I would love that. Yeah. And and judging people. Posting and judging people. And judging people. Boom. That's it. It's a dream come true. Yeesh. That's crazy, man. But people love her. Absolutely love her. I I don't know why. I don't either. I think it's probably she's super hot, but, uh, and, you know, and has a very calming, like, way of talking. Very uh, ASMR uh-huh. with her voice where mm-hmm. you're just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Ran into my banger sister last night. Who? Do you know what a banger sister is? No, I don't. Do you remember that movie? Maybe you, I'm sure you never saw it, but you maybe have seen trailers for it. it was a long time ago with uh, Susan Goldie Sarandon Hond, and, and Susan Sarandon Goldie, Goldie Hawn. Hawn and like Susan Sarandon is like has her shit together she's like the banger sisters banger is what it's sisters yeah. yeah and so she has her shit together she is like you know has her kids her house her husband or whatever and Goldie Hawn still still single still living the life still fucking rocking and rolling all over the town mm-hmm. old as shit tragic yep. comes and fucking tries to ruin her life but the moral of the story, I think he like she teaches her how to really live, right? Ah. Which is not how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a banger sister in town, which is like someone that moved out here from California mm-hmm. from my like 15, 16 year old days of like crazy partying. Is she listening They're to the show? They're still listening. Huh? Is she listening to the show? No. <laughs> no. She asked if you were still Trumpy. Ah, that's a thing, huh? Me, me and Tiffany were like, Trumpy? What is that? What is that? I like that. You know, Trumpy. <laughs> we were like, I, does it matter? I don't know. Like, what are you saying? Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. Did he recant his vote? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, did yeah, he yeah, take yeah. it back? Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> we were both just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, there she is. Of course, we ran into her. It's just like staring your your uh, alternate future in the face of like what it could have been, right? Yeah. If you didn't get your shit together. What was sight. your answer there? What? Was, were you happy or sad at your life's decisions? Oh, it was a sad sight. No, but were you happy or sad about your life's decisions at that point? Mostly I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, no. It's definitely like, whoo-wee. Dodge a bullet on that one. I think that's what banger sisters are for, though, to kind of like... And I think maybe that's what happened to Susan Sarandon, too, that she ended up being like, you know what? My life is good. (laughs) Like, I don't need to keep like pining over the past of being single or being able to party all the time. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. You brought up the Trumpy thing. Uh, Somebody else asked me that the other day. We we can talk about it, I guess. Fuck it. Um, There was a guest that we were. Back and forth on on one of these guests, and uh, I I truly don't care who anybody voted for in this. That's why we kept saying like life. What does that matter, dude? I don't. I I honestly don't. But we don't for even whatever talk reason, about that shit anymore. Like after Trump got elected, it is it is really fucking like people have really taken this to the edge. And the guest, there's someone here. There's somebody here, uh, Jame. Um, the guest was uh, Shepherd Ferry. Okay. And. Wow. But here's the thing, I, I, I don't care. And they were like, "Well, is it going to be political, or do you care about you know a stance on different?" And I was like, "I don't care about anybody's stance on anything." No. And I was like, "An interesting interview is an interesting interview. I'm not yeah. going to bring up politics with him." Yeah. I was like, "I'm just be curious about his artistic process, mostly." Mm-hmm. And it felt like a vetting, like pre-interview mm-hmm. type sitch. And I was just like, uh, "Well, they were like, well, you know, they were coming through some of your catalog, and then don't come on." I was just like, like hey, uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Here's the thing. I, I will say this for him because I, I didn't get, I'm going through a middle person at this point. So like, 
I didn't know if it was coming from him or somebody else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can never tell. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it was a, a, the third party. But at the same time, it just goes like, okay. Then yeah, don't. I don't. Then don't. Like, don't if care. that really, really matters to you, if you can't even talk to someone or, like, yeah. the first time, you know, I think what we were talking about with Banger's sister was um, the chili cook-off. And she was like, yeah, I saw it was for a campaign. And I'm like, yeah, for school board. Yeah, like, for school board, yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> like, ugh. People are weird, man. Just fucking people on the left, like, cannot even, like, handle. Wow. They just can't Imagine even, what's going to happen in They just can't months. fucking handle, like, the fact that she, like, <laughs> said that and then was like, ugh. Like, I can't even. That was the first time that your name was brought up. And it's just like, you know what, bitch? Like, we both were like, does it matter? Yeah. And just like. What was her response? Ran her, I mean, Yeah. It matters to me. I'm like, okay, fine. Then walk away. Like we're both, we're like, then leave. <laughs> yeah. If it really matters to you, if you need to ask me about that, because I'm talking about my husband, like, and that's going to like determine whether like we finish the sentence or not. We were just like, get the fuck out of here. Strange. And she's like, no, 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 no. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. And you're like, is it? I don't know. <laughs> like. <laughs> it doesn't the fuck matter to me like i'm not even gonna answer that question because it doesn't matter the weird so he may be he may not be i don't know yeah. you'll never know the the weird thing is is like the more even talk to him about it high profile these shows become like people will now assume things on the outside before the, like they actually talk to you and you're just like hey man i don't really fucking care about anything i just want an interesting show either way i don't really and i don't, I don't, don't talk about it you voted for so she can somehow like be cool with me because I don't talk about politics or whatever, but she doesn't know. But what did she follow me on Instagram then? I'm sure she unfollowed you to be honest, <laughs> but um, I think she has unfollowed you for sure. Speaking of which, um, when I did the fucking Michael Rappaport show when he came on, mm -hmm. um, did what I lose like fifteen thousand Twitter followers or something crazy? Yeah, so I mean it goes both ways. Four or five thousand on yeah, because people if were like, oh, why would you have you? that guy? And I was like, I don't fucking care, man. He's interesting. I don't like. Yeah, whatever he says in his own shit is his own shit. I don't I have any control he's over that. Funny, but to we didn't talk about politics you, either. Exactly to unfollow you because you talk to someone that has a different view. Yeah. I mean that's a that's a long road around. And yeah. by the way, nobody cares if you unfollowed. No, no, like there's <laughs> like you banger sister <laughs> drunk by yourself at a bar, being mad because my husband is Trumpy, as you say. <laughs> That affects no one. Oof. Um, it affects nobody's life. Imagine But how your own. You're sitting there angry by yourself for no reason. And me and Tiffany are sitting there laughing. Like, uh, okay, dude. Like, I don't fucking know what. Just spinning out in the corner. Is he? <sighs> Why do you need to know? Imagine how b much worse it's going to get next year. Because everybody's been waiting for 2020. Um, and there's a lot of people. I don't I, know. I read an article today that just said, uh, ugh. I feel I, I've 2019 has taken forever because we're, we're all just waiting for 2020. I was like in this article, it went without saying what they were waiting for. I must say, oh, sure. I knew what they were waiting for, but I was like, eh, what are you going to do then? Wait for 2024 because how's that going to shake out? But again, we don't know what's going to happen either, by the way. Their, their articles of impeachment, all of this bullshit. We don't know. I actually None do. of us know. I do. I know what's going to happen. You're See, so if she's mad about this kind of shit, I get it. No. You're talking about Roster Damas. I'm just talking about my prediction skills in general, whether it be politics, sports, anything. Okay. So anything. You know, the only thing that I can't call right now, the only thing is... What you're having I've, for I've dinner. I've put money on... Well, I'm look, making it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a mystery every night. Um, <laughs> a mystery meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, because uh, we, look, we have mybookie.com forward slash drinking bros, doubles your deposit, only $1,000. That's our sports sponsor on Drinking Bros Sports, and they have everything across the board. So you can bet on anything uh, politics, you can bet on housewives freaking out. Like they've got a bunch of cool prop mm -hmm. bets and shit too. Mm -hmm. I bet on Trump after the Mueller thing, is my, the max bet. I think it was 200 bucks is all you could bet. And I said that he would get reelected. Um, they've got all the Democratic candidates on there. You can bet on all those guys, too. Um, the Ohio State Clemson game is the only thing that I cannot predict in the college football playoffs. I have, I have no idea who's going to win that game. 
the other one, I can tell you I'm pushing mm. all my money on things. Yeah. So I, I feel pretty confident about things in life and the way that they're going. Um, and then I think it's pretty easy to read certain things. Uh, that election thing to me is an easy one. An easy one. Unless a wild card came in at the ends like a Michelle Obama. Yeah. That's the only hope, I think. She won't. I don't think so either. Um, I saw her in Vietnam with mm-hmm. uh, Jenna. Jenna Bush. Um, I think that her relationship with George Bush is fascinating. Yeah. Um, people are bitching about that still because uh, they were hanging out again the other day. And it was just like, what, dude? Two people from different parties can get together and hang out. Isn't that what you, you want? Know it's Isn't just that the goal job. of life at the yeah. end of the day? And then you're going to shit on her and shit on him for having a friendship? Like, it's crazy to me. Uh, the other thing that was crazy about it was she was in Vietnam. Yeah. Did they, they must really love Vietnam. Why? Do they go there all the time? No. Uh, well, yeah, yes. Um, with uh, Bourdain. Oh, that's right. Well, so, Bourdain liked Vietnam. So Vietnam is his favorite place. So okay. I don't know who chose or what. What? I mean, obviously, the president chooses where you fucking go. But yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't. My parents loved it, too, man. I. There's they, a really funny. <laughs> they went over there and they were like, it is awesome. And I was like, shit, really? How? Vietnam. I don't know. So the food's great. Do they have noodles and butter over there? Yeah, I'm sure they do, James. I don't Vietnam. know. It'd be hard to find, I think. Well. Can I get can... a chicken tender? Yeah, you can get a tender. Chop it up in Will it sixes. have like talons on it or will it be like. I don't know. I don't know. That's where See, things get, get dicey worried. over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just cut the leg off the chicken and throw it in there. And it's just like, t- take off your own talons. Yeah. You're, you're good to go. But you got to take off your own talons I don't know. on this one. So I just worry a little bit, but. I'm uh, sure I could find something. Do you get nervous when your friends meet like old friends? Um, not usually. I do. You do? Yeah. It's happened before in the past and I'm just like, oh god, not my college friends. Not your college friends. Uh, high school friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this that's this was a high school friend. Do you know what I mean? This is like I'm saying 15, 16, that's 17 saying. Yeah, years yeah. old, so like uh you know, if I met her today, Right? Yeah. We probably wouldn't be friends. <laughs> but it's weird. That that kind of stuff is weird to be connected with someone because of who you were. And then, uh, I don't know. Man, I don't, I, I barely talked to anybody from high school. Yeah, you know, me neither, At obviously. I know, yeah. it's crazy. Um, yeah, but I, like, I already, without even talking to them, I already know what they're doing. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. Good on all that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the last time, fuck, it was for, actually for a bowl game. It was for a national championship game. The last time, like, some high school friends were out. I was in L.A. I was dating dating somebody else, and we went to dinner, and they were just like, said the worst shit imaginable oh, at this dinner. Rem- yeah. And I was just like, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Um, Get it together, bro. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Wasn't like, he married? Yeah, 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 to- yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, Get it together, Don't get out much. bro. You don't get out much. They no, no one gets out much. Yeah, and then when they do, it is like ah, you start saying things and doing things you normally know wouldn't do. Probably like your friend. It's like Rumspringa. Yeah, um, she <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. She you know she is she she was saying all the stuff that she usually says. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, she didn't say anything. She so it's different for her because she's whatever. She's out every night. Huh. She's living her best life. All right. According to her. According to her. Yes. And that's real. Do I want it? Not a fucking prayer. Right. But to her, she is. But to her, she is. And, she, and you guys are the same age? Yes. Oof. Yeah. That's uh, it's tough. You she, know one of those people anybody? that like, no. Mm. One of those people that like gives you shit for being married. Like when she saw my ring, she was like giving me shit for it. Not being like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not being like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Like, beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. She's like giving me shit. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. How Where you're so? just like, how the fuck? Oh, wow. Okay. Guess you guys are doing good. Like, that kind of shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you're just like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> and yeah. But, 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 and I felt like I had to like explain myself where I was like, hey, we both like, we both work and we had, we like landed this big deal together. Sure. And you were like, hey, do you want to do this yeah, yeah. with the money? Cause I had lost my 
diamond for the first one, right? Yeah, you were you were like the least uh, fancy fucking pants on the planet, which is what I love about you. Right. You've never asked for anything. You never picked out shit before we got married or rings. I only or... want to be able to go to Whole Foods at Whole Foods every day. That's right. It. That's the only. That's thing the only I dream you, you have. <laughs> That's the only dream life. I have in life. Even wedding wise, it was what ten. 12 of us? 10 people. It was perfect. We went to dinner after. And that was it. Got married on the beach and it was pretty simple and rad. That's what I wanted. I, yeah. I don't want to do any of that other shit and like neither do you. So when people give you shit for things like that, it's yeah. like, hey, man. <laughs> exactly. Where I'm just like, dude, you know, and I was and I again, I felt like I had to like justify it. Like that's what I'm <laughs> always doing with this girl. Banger sister is I'm always like justifying my life to her and like feeling bad. That I'm like <laughs> working hard and doing okay and like have a house and kids and like sure. why, why am I apologizing for that to you? It's strange. Because you have three cats. Like so she was showing us her newest cat. Ah. And um, <laughs> Tiffany goes, oh, are you a crazy cat lady? <laughs> Probably not the thing to say, right? But like whatever. It just no, came it's out. it's awesome. It's it is awesome perfect. because... It's a new, it's a thing where people will be like, yeah, I am. You know what I mean? Like if you were a normal, well-adjusted, okay with your own life person, yeah. you'd be like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a crazy cat lady. People call me that all the time, right? But she was like, oh, that's what people with, that are married with kids say about people that are living their lives or whatever, like snapped out on us. And we were like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oof. And I couldn't fucking leave. So we had to like, whatever. It was it, just it's like a one, bad It's one cat the per person, by the way. So if you don't want to be called a crazy cat person, the rule Have of thumb cat. is one cat per person. Right. Don't That's be it. outnumbered by your cats, basically, is yeah. the idea. Like, if you die, only one cat is roaming around. Yep. Not three Not cats. Not three eating out of your mouth. Trying to, like, nurse on your... Tit while you're dead. Corpse. Yeah. Yep. Eating out of your mouth, trying to get your tongue out of there. Yep. Just Knocking the that. candle over, burning the house down. Yep. And then they With find everybody your dead inside. body. Yep. So anyways... She's doing good, you know, and like good for her and whatever. And I would not even be saying this if she wasn't such a fucking bitch about everything. Like <laughs> I would have just been like, cool, ran into this person. Fine. But like and again, I know she doesn't listen, so it's fine. But, you know, fuck, <laughs> just be fucking cool. Like, again, there are people, friends of mine that like aren't married, have no kids, don't own a house and they are living Oh, I'm jealous sometimes. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Where they're happy, they're having fun, they're doing it right. There's some people that I go, I don't know who's doing it right. Them or me? They yeah. seem happy. This person? No. Miserable. Miserable, bitchy, hates everybody that's happy. You know? Gonna start taking classes next semester. Whatever. What on kind what? of classes? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Trust fund. Uh She's got a trust fund. Yeah, of course. So you don't really have to worry about life, but no. you do. And you can call your parents and say, I'm thinking about getting back into school. At yeah. 30 and whatever. they'll give you some money. Oof. Oof. Jade, Woof. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woof. Meow. Was that why you were out so late last night? Yeah. I mean, we were actually leaving. So me and Tiffany just went, grabbed a bite, and we were leaving. And of uh -huh. course, she's at, I'm not going to say the place, but it's a place that we kind of start our evening when we go downtown always. Sure. And um, of course, she's there outside. And I, there was a part of me that was like, do I say hi? Nope. Keep on, keep on trucking. You got to keep on so, trucking in that Yeah, sitch. so like we didn't even really, to be honest, drink that much. We just were like listening to her gab and yab. Yeah. Yab and gab. And then we like talk, you know, we talked on the way home a little bit, but like. Was not planning on it, but it's when someone's like a little bit tragic and talking a lot and you're kind of like, oh, okay. Yep. She Good to see you. Gotta go. Bye. 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 So again, if she wasn't so mean to me, I wouldn't be being such a bitch, but gotcha. just be happy with your own life. Don't make people feel bad for fucking anything. I wasn't making her feel bad. Okay. <laughs> I am now. You are now. But I at the Fuck. time. I'm at the time I was not making her feel bad. Like I, you know, I was asking her whatever about her life. Cool. You own you. She bought a house. Great. Not sure how. 
trust fund. But wow, anyways, yeah. so like, awesome. You're taking classes? Cool. Yeah. I don't care in what. Yeah. Go ahead. Art. Live your life. It was it was really straight out of a movie. Ceramics. It was straight out of a movie where you run into someone and they're like, hey. Oh, boy. Man, I'm living. I, my parents turned the garage. They gave me my own entrance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I run into people in California sometimes, like my old hometown. Dude, got my own entrance to the garage, bro. And I'm just, I'm going to take J- classes at JC, bro. I'm starting next week. Yeah. At my age, right? So it was straight out of a movie. That's great. It was right out of any kind of Christmas movie where somebody goes back to their shithole town. Sure. Yeah. This person just brought their shit to my town. Wow. Like a banger, sister. Fucking A. Uh, by the way, I just got an email from Ghostbed. Um, 25% off flash sale from uh, 1212 to 1216. Um, whoo, boss. Uh, Queen Classic Ghost Bed. Come on, man. It's 745. I get fucking deals there. Flash sale, dude. Four days. 12, 12, 12, 16. It's 12, amazing. 12, 12. Yeah. Rich Bernstein. Um, really fucking hammering it to me. That's great. God, Ghost Bed always delivers. Always bringing the goods, that company. Sure. Always bringing the, the, the wood. Slanging that wood around. Um... Let's get to the revolutionary figure today, shall we? Oh my gosh. I have to tell you something off air. Okay, go. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I can't. Why? Share it with the world. Share it with the world. It's another, just a real quick banger Swister go ahead. story. Who gives a and shit? Ghost Bed is involved. I didn't mean to involve them, but they're involved. Oh, how? Fire away. So the last guy that she dated was a bedwetter. Oh, God. Things, I mean, roses for her. She, t- she openly and told you this story? Yeah. So she go, yeah, because she's talking shit, right? About uh-huh. this guy. She would, and oh, God. Every night, he would pee the bed every night. And so I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, like, you need a new bed. Yeah. I was like, one of my sponsors is like. <laughs> oh, uh, don't. Why? I don't want to. I'm not giving this person a bed. Look, I'll talk to Ghostbed myself about it. I'll be like, hey, do you want to do you want to come in? and Nope. Maybe nope. help out Banger Sister a little bit. She's fine. She's bought a Ex-boyfriend. house. She's taking classes. Ex boyfriend. She's going to be able to. Every night. She should be able to buy her own bed. She's he taking classes. He peed every night she on said, the bed. Every single night he wet the bed. Every night he wet the bed. That's what she said? Mm hmm. So she is laying in a, a dried piss, puddle. Piss, piss bed. Again. Did she say. Roses. Roses. I need a new mattress? Well, she just told me that, and then I, I just involved Ghost Bed. Nope. I involve them in my nope. drama, and no, I'm sorry. No, 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 bed. Now, listen, I didn't make any promises, and I probably won't talk to this person again. So, yeah, we're not getting ghost bed. We're not, we're not, we're not gonna. I'm just saying ghost bed if you feel like you, you want, want to, like. She can go to fucking ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. But again, someone else is going to pee on it. It's yeah. going to be her, or it's going to be the cats, cats or whatever. Dude. So, yeah. yeah, maybe lost cause. She should have fucking known better, in my opinion. Um, this is going to keep Laying happening. Laying in rest the of her ex's life. pee yeah. every night. <laughs> She can smell it, the stench of his piss, all over the room. Oh, man, take a big whiff right now. If you're at home, I bet you you can smell this guy's piss. If you take a hard breathe in like I just did and imagine it. So, like, condescending. Fucker. That's the fucking life you have? You're going to be condescend to me? (laughs) James is pissed. I'm going to name this episode The Banger Sister. Don't. You can't. I have to now. You can't. Don't have a, a choice in this life. You can't. Um, this is going to make you happy. Revolutionary figure of the day. Garrett Cole. Just All right. signed with the Yankees. $375 million. I thought it was 54 Is it 75 <laughs> Let me double check, man. Oh my God, I thought it was 354 I, I When I woke up... Well, last night we That's did, this, we needed, we did though, the sports show. Um, yeah, when, when last night when I when I did the sports show, uh, they said it was going to break the the all time record, but I did not know it was going to be for this. Yeah, you're right. Nine years, three hundred twenty four million dollars. God dang! For Garrett Cole, holy fucking shit! That is the. I mean, that is absolute insanity. No pressure for a pitcher. <laughs> no pressure. Dan and I were talking about this. That is a when you when you're a pitcher, you only play once every five days. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're paying. Who else are they? 
Are they even going to be Aaron able to Judge. get anybody else? They just fucking capped out, didn't they? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, the need, Yankees have a cap, by the way. They need a couple more do. pitchers. The, here's the thing: the, the Yankees position players are so stacked they they actually had to get rid of uh, Didi Gregorius. So, no, yeah, they get too many infielders, too many great infielders. So he just signed with the Phillies last night. Um, okay. But, but look, man, the Yankees are offensively stacked. All they needed was pitching. Yep. Congratulations, you got it. You got the very best pitcher in the game, and that guy is a fucking treat to watch. Three hundred twenty-four million, though, man. If this guy blows his arm out, anything. Boy, that is that's, a, that's such a monstrous number. It's hard to wrap your head around. Yeah, for oh, a pitcher. Shit. Yeah, shit, shit. Like Mike Trout, I get where you're like, all right, great, man. He plays every day. Yeah, every day he's has a chance to hit home runs. And I know, but we needed that was you, our you that was our missing piece. So it's like, yeah, you're obviously going to back up the truck. I thought they were going to get a couple. Not just spend it all on one person, but hey. Uh, look, you never know with the Yankees. The the evil empire is back over there. Congratulations. Yankees fans were fucking stoked this morning, as they should be. Um, and then last but not least here to finish this out, uh, we talked about the time person of the year. We talk about that every year. Um, it just got announced. It is uh, Greta Thunberg. 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 Whatever you fucking want to say. I don't know. However you want to pronounce that. Um this 16 year old Swedish girl who is, uh, well, brainwashed by her parents and is able to do whatever the fuck it is. And by the way, not to say that I don't believe in climate change because that's crazy. Mm. I just, the way this girl talked at that event, she's so goddamn snotty that, like, if, if my child talked like that, I would be pissed. Well, it was pure emotion without any fact. So it's like, Cool, get really get really fired up, but I want to hear some real numbers and things that we need to do or whatever. I don't know. She's just a protester, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's it's weird, man. I <sighs> oh, gotta get a quote from her in time here. As often as I can, I try to say no to having meetings with politicians. It's just small talk, basically. And of course, they want to take selfies. I'm a bit tired of selfies right now. Oof, you're 16, dude. Uh, this is crazy. Also, she took a boat over to America for this. Did you know this? No. Walk because walk. a plane walk in the walk. would have been too big of a carbon footprint Look, on society. Again, do whatever you want. You're not going to make a difference. Here's <laughs> the thing, man. Who can afford a fucking boat from Sweden over to America? Like, what do we... Where the, where, where's that fucking money coming from? Mm-hmm. Greta? Boy, this might be it. My head might explode at the end of this, and this will be the last episode. Yeah. Just right in the camera. Subscribe on YouTube. That'd be well, fun once to I see. saw her speech, I bought more of those um, light bulbs that squiggly all the way around, <laughs> and um, and a seventh generation de- detergent. It does not work, so I'm not going to do it again. But she really inspired me to do that. <laughs> Don't those help? The squiggly all the way around ones. Yep. Okay. Yep. Definitely. Uh, you're saving lives every day. So maybe she did make a difference. I don't know, man. It is just. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> it is just I'm, uh, woof. <laughs> I'm just done. I'm I'm done with life today. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this life back on the shelf for a little bit. Okay. Try to re- regenerate. Just regenerate. Is that it? Nope. Nope. Rejuvenate my mind. There we go. Okay. I was going to say what? Regenerate a penis? Why don't you- Can I regrow a penis? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I can. Let's look that up and then we'll say it right on the next show. Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's how fried I am at looking at this fucking stupid shit. I can't believe it continues to happen all over the world. And it's just- What? This- like now, now it's just hatred back and forth on Twitter of like, oh, you're just being Trumpy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what a little dingling! Is he Trumpy? What are you saying? Use your words. There's so many real heroes in this world that it's like, man. I per- I would have picked the. Uh, I would have put the dog on there from the El Baghdadi. Exactly. So, um, like anything. The Hong Kong protesters, to me, I thought was like 
It's the craziest shit. Yeah, they're getting fucking killed. They're getting murked over the there. The craziest for... shit of all time. So, like, I, I don't know. There was... People are actually dying to try to make a difference rather than this stupid shit and you're 16 taking a boat over. Who's paying for that boat? Mammy and Diddy. Yeah. Emmy, Mammy and Diddy. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I just need to shut the computer and walk away today. Uh, I'm having a hard time with it. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, Mimi and Didi. Mimi and Didi. Mimi and Didi. Me, me and Didi. Uh, How'd you I'm, buy your house? I'm me, Trumpy me, me, Patterson. Me, me, and uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're Trumpy. Trumpy Patterson. We'll see you after the break. Nope, mine is shut down today. We're definitely not coming back. So please don't stick around. Um, this is over. This is over. <laughs> Good night. Show's over. Good nights. <laughs>